Hey everybody, this is Cappy Smack, and I just spent the last two weeks trying to get my Warp Cell Factory back online since NovaCorp changed the way that factory elements work, and now you have to buy schematics. So let's get into it. The latest changes to dual universe for factory elements requires you to pay money up front to buy schematics for certain factory elements like tier two refiners and smelters and chemistry industry units and other elements. You'll find out. So I had a warp cell factory before the latest patch that was producing 31 warp cells per hour and it was finely tuned and it was optimized and it would do that passively and warp cells on the market were dropping in price because I was helping them drop and the cost of production was very low relative to the material you said you'd have to put in and optimizing that factory from eight warp cells an hour to 31 really didn't cost any more materials. It was all built into the game. So now that we have the latest batch, I've had to spend 45 million Qantas to produce about 3,000 warp cells. And I had to pay that 45 million up front. So effectively, the changes mean that you're going to have to buy your warp cells from a wholesaler up front. And that's the cost of a schematic. It's like you're paying a, a wholesaler for the right to produce a warp cell or any other, any other kind of item that you might want to produce. So you're paying that cost up front. And that's going to artificially increase the cost of production. This is the grand scheme of Novacork to overhaul their economy. The prices were dropping too fast. A lot of the veterans who made trillions found that they were losing money because people like me would come into the game and I found a way to get Qantas out of thin air. And uh, I was uh, artificially lowering the price or maybe lowering the price to what the price should have been. All right, so if you want to make a go of doing factories once the game goes live, you're going to want to, number one, have a lot of Qantas up front. You're going to need millions. Number two, it's going to take time to get the schematics to start the factory up. Probably two or three weeks of lead time. Number three, you're going to want to have a spreadsheet so you can keep track of all the cost of all the schematics and all the raw, raw materials that go into production so you can make sure unless you can find Qantas out of thin air like I did you're gonna to want to make sure that you can actually turn a profit in the form of in-game money which we lovingly call Qantas so that's my analysis and I would say, have fun, if that's your thing. And this is just like EVE Online, to a very great degree. EVE Online, you don't have to have spreadsheets. Keep your spreadsheets up to date, and everything will be cool. In Dual Universe, you're going to have, you're going to, have to have spreadsheets. Well, that's it for me. Be sure to stay tuned for more videos. We'll catch you next time. If you like the content, you've seen on this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit that bell icon, because then you'll get notified whenever I publish another interesting and important video. And thank you very much for subscribing.